Welcome everybody and are you sitting down because we're about to go to town on Mordor Yeah, yeah pretty much. I think that sums it up doesn't it? That sort of uh, sums up our attitude to the Dark Lord in this universe because I mean now that we have evicted him uh, as he sits there. Well, we've evicted his um, servant, of course. Sauron himself is still sitting up there. We can see his eye gazing all over the place, which now is erecting purple banners everywhere. And oh my goodness, must he be displeased. So displeased about it that he's sending his forces to recapture lost ground. But, um, yeah, we're, we're kind of ready for that. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. And we have plenty of forces yes. coming in to uh, supplement our little... Um, campaign and just as a precaution I am going to recruit some extra folks over here on the border to Cannes because we don't really know which way they're gonna go <laughs> the diplomatic situ situation is becoming increasingly interesting uh, they they are no longer allied to Mordor because they have decided to go to war with Harad whom have who now remains an ally of the Dark Lord. So, we'll see exactly how all that plays out. Kand is really a wild card in this campaign and it's actually quite fun, quite exciting. Love it. Love it to bits. And so, this is where we stand. We also have an army over here in Dolgeldur which will likely be counter-attacked as the enemy figures out that we're actually there. Let's end the turn and uh, see if they care for our little presence. Now, in order to fully go with the theme of the wine-swaggling elves of Middle-earth, I have decided that tonight shall be a night for sparkling tea, and so I shall raise my crystal glass to you all. I hope you have a lovely evening out there, and if you wish to join with uh, proper alcoholized wine, then, I mean, hey, be my guest, drink responsibly, be kind to your neighbor, that's all I'm gonna say. So there we go, being careful not to get any um, sticky liquids on the keyboard. This thing can overflow from a, uh, in a glass pretty quickly. Uh, akin to the uh, bubbly wines of the world. So, Baradur, Weaponsmith Guild? Yeah, I'll take that. Gorgoroth lost, but to us it's Gorgoroth won. So, lovely that. And Sauron decides to lash out by attacking Lothlorien. Aww. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, the Arda Nine are doing really well. They've probably smashed up uh, Harad well and good. Um, Rudland. Yes. Hello. You've come to Dantalad, and there stands an army. Maybe we should just attack them. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. But first, let's consider our options as pertains to infrastructure. Condomen stables. Hmm. Nice. Better. Um. Emnahath. Oh yes. Oh, he will retrain all these lovely troops. It's going to be pretty nice. But um. But um. But um. But you can't do much about these cell swords. Mm. That's a bit of a bother. And we also need... Um, are there others we need to move for the purposes of retraining? No, it's really the cell swords. And so move them we shall. Uh, they'll go to... I don't know. We're just going to move them to the next town over and we'll see if they can go anywhere. Uh, I, I think we can retrain them in Mistran though. Yeah, let's just send them to Mistran then. <laughs> Sorry about that, chaps. You walked a few miles for nothing. Mm, 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 mm. Baradur, standing stones. Yay! Aren't we just blessed? Oh, 
Oh, have a look at these lovely armies. By your command. Um. Though it is only one of these. That we actually need to retrain. My lord. So we're so gonna take these out. As you wish. Do like that. Back inside. Yes. Yeah. Good. My lord. And Captain Herion Collider. No, 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 no. He is heading Wait, on here. west to Mirkwood, where nothing has happened. My lord. Okay. And we go to Dorlingwa. Which is ill defended at best. And Theron is going to be doing lovely things to that settlement. Believe you me. Yes, my lord. With honor. For the light. I guess we could send these with them. They're not as well armored as the others, but they'll still be good. Better to have them than not, right? Better to have them than not. That is our aim. Okay, Mordor, do you want a little battle in Dantalad? Dantalad. Yeah, let's do it. Hello there, you've got some trolls. Oh goodness, am I terrified? Uh, maybe. You have a cavalry bodyguard. I mean, yeah, none of this is really too. Um... Oh yeah, we're gonna save on the quick save. Yeah, that's the genius system. Attack! Cheers, everybody! Take a shot every time Mordor makes a strategic mistake. Or don't. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I. I'm sure you're home and safe and all, but still, I wouldn't want to endanger anyone. <laughs> we are going to position our troops uh, as well as we can. We don't have the most favorable terrain, but, you know, it'll do. If we get these guys to hide, that would be amazing. I suppose that means we should put them over here. So that they shall only come forward once they're actually going to strike. And then we have our generals near... B uh, no. No. Our gen mm. and maybe this one. Yeah. Let's put you there. As well as some elves with spears. Uh, then we have you guys. Out on this corner. Ready to do some damage. Thorn units. Ready to defend. Our archers. But we'll probably need to put our archers a bit forward. <sighs> okay. Guess we will then. Okay, our archers are put forward. The enemy is coming too. Oh goodness! By order of high paladin. Weapons ready. Weapons ready. Yes. Who has the higher damage? 8 damage, 9 damage. I'm gonna go 9 damage. Yep. Yeah. Target those trolls, will ya? If you please. Crossbows. Let's also get you guys involved. On that particular task. Shoot them! Oh, 
They think themselves strong, powerful, and stout in all the ways that matter. But <laughs> this is when they fall. By the arrow and by the sword, by the bow! They face the wrath of the wine lord. And there they go. Soon to fall. Good, good, good. Okay. Paladins, ready to charge. Hi, Paladins! And the cavalry charges were there. What else do we have? We have some cavalry out on this side, don't we? Where are they, though? They're hidden by trees. Oh, there they come. Hello, barrier glances. Trampling right into our crossbows. Okay. Well, of course, that's not the most brilliant thing for us, but... This is not terrible either, because they apparently were going for someone else. Come, Mordor, come, 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 come. Come and eat your own dead. Um. And the high paladins. Um. Oh, what do we have there? A Marauder! Yeah, okay, let's just take him out then. <laughs> Come on, stab him in the bum or something. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Southern Lancers coming in again, charging into the backs of their own friends. Oh, goodness. Okay, they're trampling through our forces. Fascinating. Okay, we'll need to support them. And the Sentinels get their due. Spearmen, start doing some good work down there. It's all very good. And the Paladins are doing a mighty fine job in taking on so many Uruks. Why are you trying to get through my army? There's nothing here. Well, except for a Paladin's unit that's going to be very, very happy to hack you down. Except for that, there's nothing there! Ooh, hello. A charge that went through on my watch? Oh dear. Well, had to happen at some point. Too bad they can't hold the mustard in melee. Or cut the mustard, I suppose. Not that anyone would really want to hold the mustard. Or maybe with a fork, I don't know. Fork or a spoon. Speaking of mustard, they must be breaking soon. We should just have to push them a little further. Stand together. 
<laughs> stand together. There's only ten of us left. Let's just stand together and have a jolly good time. Okay. Hmm. High patterns, you take on the Oric Archers, you'll do so excellently. Yeah, the enemy's running away. One by one. Charge into the... Oh, okay. He charged into his death. Pity. Such a great pity. This army actually held up quite well morale-wise. Sometimes you expect these uh, orcs to just run at the first sign of trouble, but these have actually held out to until, like, 9 in 10 were dead. So credit where credit is due. You're not completely cowardly. Only slightly cowardly. Our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. Thank you, everyone. This is a clear victory. Yeah, I'd say so. It's looking pretty good. Highest kill tally, Avari Warriors. Very, very well done. Thornbladesman, Thornbladesman. Good job, everybody. More Quentin Sentinels doing well. Shadows doing well. Everybody doing relatively well. Ex although there were some losses, but primarily, in again, in the human department. Uh, which, you know. No trouble! Even, even when challenged in melee, our lovely archers have much good to bring to the table. Ah. Farewell there, friend. Farewell. Bye-bye to Lou. Glory. See you Victory. soon, I suppose. Your orders, my so, Rutland gets a little bit of experience. Very nice. Um, I'm always tempted to send him to Dornorhack. Just to put the place under a bit of pressure. Hmm. Thinky, thinky, thinky. Your will, my lord. Maybe taking my these lord. guys for a spin would As be pretty wish. nice. We can go no further today. My lord. For the light. Elves. Orders. We just take uh, these, 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 and maybe also, yeah. Then we're just gonna take Gustav and these and these. We're gonna go over there and say hello to their castle. It's gonna be amazing. You guys are gonna go to Dantalad and uh, gonna help defend it just in case stuff gets hairy. Theron is going to continue on this path as it does. Um, these shadows, we can yes. definitely send them to we'll Santa Wee for here. training. Santa Nui. Should we say Anui or Anui? I'm not. I don't. Not, not sure. <laughs> uh, anyway. More forces to the castle that must here. not be named. Yeah, and here we have the Regent Bogart in St. Anui and we, and it, yeah, it's nothing for him to retrain. Meh. Meh, 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 meh. It's all a bit sad. But we'll survive. And we'll thrive. For our economy shall truly have to take quite a dive. In order to render us useless in this war. With honor 
This tower will keep vigil over or the even land. challenged. My lord. Your will, my lord. By We're your just going to follow Warlord Orash. Oh, Seragost. No longer under siege. Mordor not so keen on it after all. Tay hey. Okay, let's My continue Lord. with our diplomats yes, through the Limbite Fields. Yes. Tomorrow's journey planned out. I shall continue tomorrow. Yes, you shall. And what else do we have? We don't have any merchants not training trading anything, do we? Everybody's doing lovely things. Yeah, everybody's doing lovely things. Very good. Trading all the lovely things at all the mines. And lunt. Your orders, my lord. Yes. You can leave Varfest in time, especially once we get the devastation under control, which is going to be good. What are they coming with here? Ooh, trolls. Mm hmm, interesting. That might actually be a challenge. <gasps> Have a taste of my blade. I'm gonna stick you. Maybe we'll have to uh, support them a bit. Hmm. My lord, as you wish, we can go no And so we shall. Filter. Hello. You have so many wonderful folks. For the light. By your command, we'll make camp here. And we're going to send them where they yes, can do the things that they were destined to always do. For the More light. Equendi Sentinels in this large little town. Yes. Large little town? Doesn't seem to hold together as a sentence, but... As long as I can get my Elven Archers, I'll be happy, I'll tell you that. Um, yeah. Another turn, then. Where we simply hold on to regions in Mordor and make Sauron a very, very angry landlord. Hello, Lungaz. You attack a force a third of your size. And you know what? You might succeed. It is certainly possible. The tide of battle seems to have turned against us. We must act and halt this turn of events. Well, we shall certainly not be placing our general up in the walls. He's going to be very useful, and we want to use him well. Um, seems that this is going to be their main point of attack. So, three units there, and three of those there. I mean, it is not the best uh, army ever conceived, but under the stout leadership of our hey paladins, surely our brave men of Dorian cannot falter. They absolutely can! They absolutely can! But don't tell them that! Now it would be very very nice to have some javelins or crossbows here today, but folks, we simply don't have that kind of support here at the Black Gate. We need to make do with less. <laughs> because that's the town we have, we have the town of Lest. No, uh, but, but we don't have that here today either. Then we actually would have archers. Oh, and manning the ram are the Olokai themselves. Oh, how appropriate to the Return of the King scenario this is. Only it is not the White Gates of Minas Tirith under attack. No, they're gonna bash down the gates. 
to Mordor itself. Oh dear! I'm happy to see our towers deal so effectively with the trolls. Take on a few more, would you? No, 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 you're not going to do that? Curses! The enemy are battering down our gates! Oh well. Any tower that takes out a troll is a good tower in my book, though. You are soldiers of the thorn. Whatever comes through that gate, you're gonna... ...prick it until it dies and falls down on its bum. And look at what big bums they have. Perfect for pricking. So prick them, my friends! Poke them with your prickly things! It's going to be... A triumph! Oh, maybe not. Pray something changes in the course of battle, but defeat seems almost certain. We're just going to uh, put as much of our infantry into this fight as we possibly can. They're all kind of strong, but they will fall eventually. The rest of the troops are not that strong, but there are a heck of a lot of them. Our enemy has made a critical success, and the time for our attack has come. Um, We're going to hack away at them until their success stops. Which is apparently going to take a while, but now their trolls have started dropping. Which is of course a very, very, very lovely thing to see. Yes. They're dropping fast. Faster among uh, the halberdiers though, because they're armor piercing, but... Yeah, the thorn bladesmen are absolutely starting to kill it too. Literally kill it. You see? You see? They're really killing it. And this means their infantry blob might just end up contained. Uh, or not. Because there is a heck of a lot of them. I mean, yeah. Okay. You're allowed to push back at the enemy. Use whatever weapons you can muster in the fight against these... Tyrannical Orcs! 23% oh, of them gone. Ugh. Yeah. And 40% of us. Those trolls, they give them an early advantage in the fight that cannot be overlooked. And should not be understated at all. Hack, hack, hack them down, hack them down where they stand. Hack them down, every single one, every single man. Hack them down, prick them down. Prick them into their graves, for pricks are what they are. For pricks are what they are. Oh, no, okay. Our troops have apparently not taken my little prickling song to their liking, and they have started to flee. It's a bit of a pisser. Damn it! We killed the trolls, but they they enabled them to get so much momentum that we were unable to hold back their numbers. The 
Uruk Blob has taken us to task and we have been found wanting. But let's look at the bright side. Let's look at the bright side. We've still taken out more of them than we had actually had of troops to begin with. Oh no, okay. Our chances of victory with it. Okay. This probably spells the end for our little regiment, but oh my goodness. Look at how many orcs our paladins have killed. That is decidedly impressive. You guys, you're wavering. I understand you. I get you. I know where you're coming from. The enemy is no longer in command of the castle. Our foe has taken control But of you the are impressive. Oh, that's the general. Hello. Ah, the high paladins are routed. Okay, well then there's nothing else we can do really. But look at this. Oh, we've been dealt a stinging defeat today. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't wasn't the best. Ah. Three hundred and ninety-five high paladins. Ah, that unit is pretty darn good. Gaining three experience points in the process, because of course. And then these guys, 269. Oh. You are very good, guys. You're very good. We're going to drink to our fallen comrades. Are you ready? In deference to our fallen and defeated, we raise our glass. From Varfest shall come another army. More powerful than any that Mordor could ever hope to defeat. Or even field themselves. We shall fight them for every inch of ground and fight them continuously. Oh no, Aragorn has died. <laughs> Rudland gets married. Moranon is rebuilt, yeah. Oh no, the rangers are gone. Fainabel, uh, yeah, yeah. By your command, but Rudland's getting married, so it's, you know. Swings and roundabouts, swings and roundabouts. What do we have here? Pre generic Uruk army. Your orders, my lord. With honor. <laughs> yes, my lord. Your orders. Uh, yes, my lord. Let's take a little yes. moment just to build a tower. tower it's not going to change the, the end outcome there. My lord. Building worm. Watching. Let's have a look at Your that. Lord, With honor. Making camp here. Yes, my lord. Can our spy feasibly get here in two turns? No. Well, then it's not really going to matter. No, we're going to besiege his ne next turn no matter what. And we're going to keep pressure on Dor Lingvar. Your order, um, As you command. At this point, I'm curious to see. Yes. Do they actually get defensive troops? It remains to be seen. Building a stronghold here? That is absolutely a wonderful idea. Everybody's at war with the Lorien. Well, at least all the evil nations are. Mordor not. Curiously.
Awful bad. Yay! Armor for you. Which means hard paladins get to upgrade, but they did anyway. I, I guess it's an experience point, maybe? I don't know. Not sure, not sure. Rubar. Keep on growing. Elga. Keep on growing. <sighs> Look at all that growth. It's very, very, very good. Very, very good. And it is what we want to see. Dortalu. Yes, please. A glorious city you shall be. Culture wise. You know what? Let us build some roads and then we're gonna start with the night stables these require 75% for what they provide so I'm going to say after that uh, we're just gonna boost trade a bit some farming then we're gonna have a look at the elite offerings in the military department Sorry with the guild. Have a taste of my blade. We had twenty eight per cent uh Northman culture there. <laughs> will, my lord. By your command. It's a bit annoying that we have to give it up that like that, but we will be back. Oh yes, we will be back. All these lovely folks to Var first you go. Oh, it would seem that Kand has decided. Well, it looks like that at least. And we shall prepare for every eventuality. By training every lovely elven unit and a couple of the human ones too. Wherever ne necessary and yes. wherever relevant, really. Okay. My lord. As you wish, we'll make camp here. Elven warriors. My lord, by your command, we'll make camp here. Elves! Elven warriors! These folks, too As far you fest you go. We can go no further today. Your will, my lord. 27% Northman culture in Dandalad. Which means soon we'll have in the 30s. And that means thorn units. Yes, my lord. Which is very good. Your orders, my lord. Um, we shall engage. Yes, and then lord, our yes, western lord. diplomat As continues you, tomorrow's journey planned out i shall continue tomorrow oh yes you shall i can't help but consider the prospect of purchasing some dalian land i would be pretty nice have a town like Burma Lynch. My lord. And we might even Impossible. It is good to see you, my Might friend. even boost you? their war effort a little bit. So, I'm gonna ask for Burma Lynch. And I'm gonna give you eighteen thousand. You don't have the cash on hand to Develop it very much anyway. Okay, we're gonna give you a bit more. 
35,000. This seems an honor and a pleasure. Farewell. Boom, buddy, boom, buddy, boom. It's a large town. It's going to get a Mason Skilled House, and then things are going to go crazy. Ooh. We're getting more Quincy Sentinels. Ah, oh, yes. They have all the good buildings. Uh, except for a Knight Stables, but we're going to give them that. An Archer Skilled. Will that actually speed up recruitment of Elven Archers here? I'm not sure. I'm not sure it does. But we're going to see. We're going to keep it around for now, just in case. Let's end the turn. See what happens. Are you ready to see if Mordor makes more military mistakes? It could be attacking a place with four units that are going to die as soon as they step inside the town. Or it could be something else. No, they are not doing anything. But that's a mistake in and of itself. Take a shot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Glass clinking. There we go. Oh no, Gondor's final stand. Hmm, okay. So things are not too good for them. Fainabel has been over. <laughs> okay, the other are doing shockingly well. They never do this. This is uh, pretty unprecedented, I would say. Ooh, a thousand extra to trade from Karasant, though. That's, uh, that's pretty good news. I like that. All that can be retrained will be retrained. And let's deal with that first. But you know what? Existing ones, we only have one Shadows unit to retrain. So we do like that. And we do like that. It's very good. That's good. Okay. And then after that, Vinatalia can head out. More elven units to Karazant. Can't say that I disapprove. Skip. Heading to Saint Henry too. And um. Hello, Drangu. You strange bugger. And purchasing <laughs> Bird Marlinge apparently pushed us over the edge again to once again be the greatest nation in the world. Knight Stables and Mataram, hello there, little friend. Are you going to attack me? I have plenty of thorns. So be careful. Be very careful. Ostanuri gets a barracks, which is very good news. I love those elven units. Asabian. We'll make camp here. We South to our first. Have a taste of my blade. Your will, my lord. As you wish. Don Orhach yes. fails to train new troops, and as such, we shall prevail. They shall not survive long. Your orders, my lord. We 
shall engage. Wait, did they get? Ah, they do get quite a lot of troops there. <laughs> kind of don't want to fight that. I'm gonna stick you. Yes, my lord. Again, I think we should besiege Bursatis yes. on the way. We should do it on this side, though. To battle. We shall prevail. And then in a couple yes. of turns, we'll be in Dorlingvar. If we're gonna have to defend Saragost against Kand, honor your will, my lord. As you wish. <laughs> yes, my lord. Well, orders, let me just say lord. that would be pretty yes, darn lord. interesting. Your orders, my lord. Bondi seems to be slowing us down. Come on, man. Yeah. My lord. Yes. Yes, my lord. New sentinels ready March to, exhaustion, continuing to go later. west. March to exhaustion, continuing later. Finally, the elves of the east go west. Um, and let's just have a look lord. at Lindor, the question. diplomat. Hello, yeah, Agarog. Just the fella I wanted to see. Your plan seems balanced enough to me. Uh, very well. That is all. Farewell. Okay. Okay. We got a bit of money. <laughs> My lord. And some you guild approval. Not that it matters too much because <laughs> we already yes, have the headquarters of the guild. It's not like we need to uh, ingratiate honor. ourselves any further for any yes. purpose other than role play. With honor. But this then again, role play is sort of one of the man. things that makes this game a bit fun. I'm gonna so we're gonna continue playing our role. Have a taste of my blade. Your will, my lord. Elves orders. Your will, my lord. Everybody except that bladesman unit can go and fight these deranged orcs. And so I say we go. Honor, I'm gonna stick you. They're only deranged orcs. We well, can take him. Muster your courage, men. We march into battle. And Mordor makes the mistake of allowing of just wandering into our trap without any beasts or trolls or anything that could actually threaten our lines. Take a shot. Hmm. Okay. So on this day, we're going to make a little bit of a crossbow experiment. Going to play tiles up there, just for the sake of it. We have uh, javelin ears on the flanks. Ready to do that bit. Oh. Hello. Hi, Paladins. We'll be on this flank. And then these hells will be over there. Dorwinian Infantry. With their lovely capes. Um, yeah, let's put you over here. Good. Everybody. They seem to be coming! They seem to be coming! Everybody, prepare to return fire! What do you mean, sir? Return fire? You mean return fire before they've even fired? That doesn't seem very sporting, does it? Well, no, my friend. Uh, we... 
You misunderstand me completely. Uh, we return fire to the forefront of their minds, since the burning sensation of our arrows is all they're going to be feeling for the next little while. Ah, oh, okay, I'll say that makes perfect sense then. Um, but we have more crossbows than arrows. Shall we just, um, you know, march forward and get over with? Well, no, no, not quite, your friend. Be because you see, you see, um, these orcs are very particular. They want us to kill three percent of them, and then they will come. It's a bit like inviting a girl to a dance, you know. You you kind of pique the interest before. Um, they come to you, and then, yeah, there we go. Now we close the trap, as it were. And so, we invite Mordor to a dance. Whee! Smash. Okay. Spearman. Infantry, prepare to close the distance. And um, what do we have here? Well, we have killed quite a good number of them already. But now they are getting close and as such we must um, do unspeakable things to them. Okay, uh, you three, you're gonna head over here, and you two are going over here. You're all gonna be running, and when you get there, you're gonna set up, and you're gonna make your crossbows useful once again. Oh, Spearman, yeah, let's get you around the field as well. The Winion Infantry, go for the archers. Um, yeah, very good. Spearman, Moran and Guard over there. Let's the get them done. Swinging in our favor. Well Some done, that is. Does victory emerge. Come, the Winion Infantry. The Black Oak Archers are apparently so enthralled by your invitation to the dance that they are actually jumping into your arms. Uh, oh. So it's... Do I, get, do I get to kiss her now, sir? Not quite, my friend. Not quite. Um, you see, uh, it, it's not necessarily in your interest to kiss just every girl that comes into into your lap. Um, not that it. Not. It's not that. Not everybody deserves a kiss. I mean, sure. I mean, pretty much everyone does, but not necessarily everyone needs a kiss from you in particular. This is very important stuff to remember, my son. Oh yeah, okay, okay, I guess I guess orcs aren't that good kissers anyway, aren't they? Are they? No, sir. No, they're not. No, they're not. Terrible dental hygiene, if you ask me. Really a, really a shame. Really a, really a shame. So, uh, if you can use your sharp blade for a little bit of, um... For, for, for a little bit of a dentist's touch there at the end. There's, you know, they might just thank you for it in the end. I hear the Mordor's got terrible health care. Um. Oh, Sigurd, sir. Sigurd, sir. They're all running away from us. Are we doing it wrong? No, no, you're doing it right. You're doing it right. You're doing it right. You're doing it right. Because just as it happens... These guys aren't really interested in dancing. No, 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 no. And so we must uh, coerce them a little bit. Uh, don't do this to girls, though. It uh, might get, um, you know, you, you'll you get yelled at and you will be considered an affront to civilized society. So uh, please be kind at the dance and be dreadful to these Good orcs. Tidings. That's the just about it, I think. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Catch as many as you can, catch as many as you can. It's a bit like Pokemon, except uh, that instead of uh, 
some weird two-dimensional uh, game interface, you've got yourself a three-dimensional chase going on. Oh! There we go. I think we're in a good place. Be awed by the victory we have won here today. And so our brief little dalliance with Mordor must come to another little end. But not to worry. Not to worry at all. We will be back and more orcs will be falling for us. Don't you worry. Back to our fest. Your orders, my lord. Orders. Your and then we just do a little bit of retraining and then we'll sort of be done. Because I smell chickpea soup in the air. And I wouldn't want to miss it for the world. Elven warriors! Orders. Your will, my lord. Orders. We'll make camp here. Ah, what the hey hey, maybe we should take another end turn. Just to cement the good feelings we have. And, I mean, I, I'm really curious. Will Kand actually attack us? I mean, look at all this stuff. They're just throwing it all into us. And they're only going to have two infantry units. That would be a fascinating battle. Not totally in their favour, <laughs> but fascinating. Uh. Okay. Um. Do -do 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 -do. Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. Another turn ends. Splitting the troops. <sighs> troops get split, and Mordor trembles because of it. And Mordor takes another turn of bravely doing nothing. Take a shot. Ah. Uh. Though I sympathise if you. Do not feel so inclined. Your will, my lord. Block of the port of Beyond's Hall. Council? Council? Really? You you want me to... Bl <laughs> we don't even have access to that waterway. You see, the, the runic one is an in... It's like... It's essentially a lake with a river attached to it. And it does not connect at all to Beyond's Hall. <sighs> Council of Nobles. They're certainly not going to win the Nobel, Nobel Prize for Geography. I'm going to let you in on that little secret. <sighs> As you wish. Yes, my lord. Let's grab A mostly elves. Host. And then be at them. Unless, of course, we could get some 
extra cavalry on the way. Not completely out of the question, but um, still a bit far away from it all. Your orders, my lord. We shall engage. Pulling back from the walls. Yes, my nah. lord. Let's just keep what we have. We can go no further, it is good enough. Elves, my lord. By your command. Yes, my lord. My lord. Elves, my lord. For the light. These guys, to and away you go. Um, your orders, my lord. My lord, by your command, we'll make camp here. Mataram continues to be under siege. Well, not under siege. Under threat, I suppose. Yeah. Your will, my lord. And Kand continues to just walk around in patterns that make very little, if any, sense. As you wish. Yes, Fascinating. Yes. Hello, Super Dai. Um... Yes, my lord. You know what? We're gonna s train the diplomat over here, and we're and we'll talk to them a little bit, see if they want an alliance. I don't think it's out of the question. And then, um, you know, we ju we just want them battering their heads against the other nine, if all if at all possible. That would be very nice. Be Your will. So nice. So nice, I'm gonna say it twice. It would be so nice. Um, yeah. Mr. And, and Math. There we go. More we're training for you. Elven warriors. Ooh, more cavalry. Hmm. Where to deploy this? That's the question. You know what? We're gonna send it into Mordor. And here at Barato, we're going to truly revolutionize how things are done. Soon, elves will be running the Dark Tower. Well, they're already running it, but they will leave their mark indelibly. And lovely times will be had. By all. You Your orders, my lord. My lord. By your command, we can go no further today. Your will, my lord. My lord. These fellows are all as retrained and armored as, as they are wish. ever going your to will, be. So are oh, these. Warriors. They're definitely joining. Okay, then we can leave. With honor. Ooh, okay. We need to leave someone behind here. Um Orders. Your will, my lord. I don't know. Orders. Orders, my lord. Bladesman units, spear for unit. Elves! For the light! We're going to leave behind a Blazeman unit. Oh. Yes, my lord. There we go. Elves, orders, by your command. Your orders, my and Lund continues. As you command. To take the Moranon once again. <laughs> Dantelad begins its culturally Darwinianized journey and Donor yes, ha well oh With honor. thank you for warning me there I was about to do a misclick hmm oh this is tempting this is quite tempting we're gonna do it glory honor victory yeah it's pretty convincing our courage and honor have conquered 
and uh, yeah, standing stones. So what we're gonna need, and we're also going to need some extra troops to uh, keep tabs on the place. Apparently, oh, but they're gonna be so late. <laughs> okay, uh, you're, oh, we're also gonna send these. And these can go to Logarth. The spears can be retrained for weapons. And, um. So can these guys. Got a li nice little assembly line of army production going here. Yes, my lord. At your service. Yes, your orders. Without question, stopping here. You know what? This mission, it's a challenge. It's a challenge. I now understand the council's intent. They intend not for us to ex actually blockade this port with a navy. That would be utterly silly, given a, that we physically Lord, cannot do that. Lord. But what we can do, we will never be able to blockade that port with the navy. But what we can do is make sure that we don't have to. We can take Bayon's Hall. And if we do so in 10 turns, you know, then we have something. So that, I feel, is what we are destined to do. Let's see if we can actually get to Bayon's Halls and take it in 10 turns. Yes, my lord. Halstein lord, might have to get off his ass if we are yes, to accomplish that. Or Brego. Your orders, my lord. Or uh, Avalyn the second. Yes, my lord. Your or... Lord, Fine. I guess he's a pretty good candidate. And we won't need him to go there, but we will need him to uh, replace yes. Theorin as Dolingva falls. Your orders, my lord. And so that is what we're going to do. Yes, my lord. Carverad gets left alone. Your orders, my lord. And Thine Honor. goes on a perilous mission. We shall continue tomorrow. Tador Lingvar. He'll be aided by elves along the way. <laughs>